The gondola is a proposed project by former Dodger owner Frank McCourt. It's his pet project to build an aerial gondola between Union Station and Dodger Stadium. Metro LA has entered into a deal with McCourt's company Los Angeles Aerial Rapid Transit LA Art, without any real public input or before conducting a study to determine the best way to alleviate traffic to Dodger Stadium. If approved, the gondola would be built along a 1.2 mile route and would involve the construction of huge towers on public land being gifted to Frank McCourt. This project is the key for Frank McCourt to unlock the potential to develop on the parking lots at Dodger Stadium. If he can bring another form of public transportation to the parking lots, he can reduce the number of parking spaces and begin developing it for a hotel, retail, entertainment complex. Well, the gondola is poised to take basically this complete view away, a 90-foot station at the bottom, which would permanently change the bucolic green welcoming southern entrance of the park into hardscaping and concrete. Cars would fly this way, just 26 feet above park goers' head, and make a turn to go up Bishop's Road. That's a major infrastructure project, and there'd be a junction right in front of my house. So it's a large 98 foot tall structure that's like a station that would be running, you know, 18 hours per day and making noise in our neighborhood and shuttling cabins constantly through it throughout the day. They say this will dramatically reduce traffic around Dodger Stadium, which will therefore reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, but there's no good evidence that, that, that it will reduce traffic or greenhouse gas emissions significantly. They haven't done an adequate study of that, and their claims are all based on assumptions. If you have money, you can put an over 90-foot leg here in State Historic Park and take public land from the people. And for me, as a representative of this district, to be okay with corporations and companies getting access to public land before my local neighbors do. For example, the William Mead neighborhood. Just right across the edge, do not have a safe access passage to this park. And that's, that's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking to know if you got money, you can buy public lands. But if you're poor, you can't even get access to your own public parks. This community is divided because some of them uh, are supporting the gondola because LA Art gets these people who they don't know, they wash their brain. They just say, come, we're gonna give you tacos. And they run for the tacos. And they say, okay, we have to support the gondola because they give us tacos. This is, is, is insane. It's insane. It doesn't tell us how we'll ensure that taxpayers don't end up on the hook for the more than $500 million project. And I have not seen a formal agreement guaranteeing that the gondola will never compete for public dollars. For me, I don't see any point for building this project. Here to ask you to vote no on item 12. That no one is making any effort to actually uh, come to a report about what happens with traffic. The government does not solve the traffic problem at all. And I like the idea. I really like the idea. Do you live at where the gondola is being built or no? No. I live way out. In Wilmington. How would you feel if they were building the gondola in Wilmington above your house? Do you think you would have a different opinion on it? I might. I'm op I might. I can't say that I wouldn't. I don't blame them, but... We can stop this at the Metro Board, but the only way that that's going to happen is if you all make your voices heard and step up and attend this meeting, call your representative, and let people know that you do not want this project to move forward. Just show up and be with us, you know, allied with us, you know, show that we're a big group and we need to be heard and they need to pay attention to what